First Commonwealth Bank. It's AM 1160 WCCS 101.1 FM. Laura Jeffrey is here from the Indiana Regional Medical Center. And Laura, I don't want to neglect you. Brought someone with you. You've got an intern this summer, huh? Yes, uh, we have uh, Caitlin Patterson. She's uh, uh, studying marketing, and uh, she has a bright future ahead of her, and we're real happy to have her. Morning, Caitlin. Where are you from? I'm local. I'm from Indiana, PA. From Indiana, PA. I've heard of it. (laughs) And you're going where, to IUP? I just graduated from IUP. Just graduated IUP. Mm -hmm. Well, congratulations on that. Yeah. And ask her where she's going for her master's. Where are you going for your master's, Caitlin? I'm going abroad to England. So wow. excited. Wow. Are you going to come back with an accent? <laughs> I don't know. You, tell you what, convert them all to a Pennsylvania accent. <laughs> yeah, I should. Everyone you meet will come back saying, Yuns. Like, <laughs> people in London, we'll still we'll, we'll hear, you know, Princess Kate going, Yuns can come over. <laughs> <laughs> Laura, the Indiana Regional Medical Center is uh, just such a happening place. So many things are going on, and that includes something we've we've had a few hints about. we known that it was coming, and... Uh, and it takes a while to get everything processed, to get the training and the certifications and everything. But finally, we've been able to have our first robotic surgeries at the IRMC under this new system. It's pretty exciting, isn't it? Yeah, it's very exciting. Uh, thank you to the Indiana Healthcare Foundation for the purchase of the robotic surgery at, uh, for uh, the hospital to use. And um, yeah, so we did our first cases last week, mm-hmm. and uh, Dr. Billen did the first cases. The very first case was a gallbladder uh, surgery, and um, you know went very successfully. But uh, the interesting case is the third case that he did, and uh, so the robot uh, allows you to see ten times better vision mm-hmm. than the human eye, and uh, so uh, he had scheduled a uh, hernia surgery. And uh, it was originally scheduled to be an open hernia surgery. And uh, then, as uh, luck would have it for this lady, uh, the robotics was uh, ready to go, the training in place, everyone ready. And um, so they did it robotically. And then, um, so when Dr. Billen got into the case, instead of one hernia that he was uh, expecting to repair, there were three hernias. And... uh, he was able to see them. They were the other two were very small. He was able to see them and uh, uh, correct the uh, situation. Yeah, yeah. That's that's uh, one of the fascinating things about it for me is the optics of it. it, it this is called the Da Vinci system, is yeah, it not? The Da Vinci system. Uh, and and the optic of it to be able to look that closely at a patient and detect things that you never would. Yeah. In in other situations, and probably if he'd have done an open surgery would have done it, would never have been able to detect that because it's so tiny, yeah. and then she would have had future problems that maybe can be forestalled by a surgery such as this. That's right. That, that's yeah. right. So, yeah, she was able to have it done all now instead of, uh, yeah, coming back a year later with uh, more problems. Now, one of the other interesting aspects of it is people are actually going to be able to get a look at this thing when the Indiana County Fair rolls around, correct? Yeah, so we're bringing it into the Indiana County, not the one that's an ROR. They have a demo sure. model. And, uh uh, you're, it's going to be at the Indiana County Fair on Friday, uh, just Friday, just one day. Mm-hmm. So, um, and you're going to actually be able to use it. Oh so, yeah. Yeah. So, People can get their hand, little hands on training, huh? Yeah. So, uh, if you have any future surgeons in your family or you've ever <laughs> wanted to be a, a surgeon, uh, and so, you know, you're going to be able to like, um, unwrap candy or tie shoes. Mm-hmm. And so you're actually going to get to see and experience it and play with it. And, uh, so it's just going to be there Friday, all day Friday, yeah. uh, from 11 uh, on, but uh, yeah. just Friday. So. I'm going to sit at it, and I'm going to stick my foot up underneath it, and then I'm going to do some bunion surgery. I think oh, I could do that. On yourself. It's probably, no, yeah, less. On myself, yeah. <laughs> on That's yourself. probably not the best idea. <laughs> probably not the best idea. But this particular system will be so very, very helpful for folks, particularly those uh, who have abdominal problems. There are a lot of different surgeries that can be done with this, but abdominal surgery is one of the real, real uh, great advances uh, with this particular system. That's right. So both yeah. Dr. Billen and Dr. Billamori are using it now. Uh, Dr. Billamori also did her first cases last week. And uh, then um, uh, the next uh, plan is uh, for the um, OBGYNs. Uh, they're in training now and um, uh, for the... Uh, for some OBGYN surgery. Yeah. Well, that's very exciting. It's yeah. very exciting. Mm-hmm. Um, in terms of personnel at the medical center, I know there's a brand new chief medical officer. Yeah. There's a brand new dermatologist. And, and we 
you know, maybe he was supposed to be here for this segment, uh, mm-hmm. not able to get in to visit with us this time. But uh, it, it's good to see that uh, there was a, a real need for a dermatologist mm-hmm. around Indiana County, especially after Dr. King left. And so many people were, yeah. uh, you know, Dr. King focused his practice on his Johnstown business. Uh, so so he's over there. And a lot of people here were sort of left high and dry. And IRMC steps in to, to fix that problem. Yeah. So we're always so fortunate to recruit the doctors that the community needs. And uh uh, this one, he's a good one. He's, uh, well, they're all good. But, You're not going to try his name, are you? She's trying to dance <laughs> no, around I'm pronouncing not his, say name. his name. <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, but he's an uh, 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 undergrad, uh, Brown University, mm-hmm. uh, medical school at Harvard. He's a Harvard Medical School graduate. Uh, he did his residency in uh, Texas uh, South- Southwestern Medical Center in Dallas. And, uh, you know, uh, the best part is his mother was a doctor but so uh you there know you go. He, he, uh, he's got that sort of and that's built yeah. into the family tree mm-hmm. there um now he's taking appointments now he is he's uh, uh he's practice he's open for business he's mm-hmm. uh in our blairsville location he's at the chestnut ridge facility okay and uh you can call and schedule an appointment i'll give you the number here it's 888-452-IRMC there you go there you go. Is he affiliated with the physician group? or is Yes, he he's with the physician group. Okay, the so, IRC yeah, same day appointments. Yeah, yeah. Same day appointments with that physician group. Call us first. You know, uh, well, that's one of the great advantages. Uh, you know, the, the IRMC physician group continues to grow in such a way that, mm-hmm. uh, you know, you're able to refine what you're able to do. And one of the great things now is that same day call and that same day appointment. Um, that's, that's such an advantage for folks. And sometimes they don't even know what kind of a doctor they need to see. That's right. One number will get you, uh, you know, they'll, they'll the one, gamut. call that one number and they'll get you in to see the right doctor. Terrific. Yeah. Terrific. Now, um, one of the great traditions of the Indiana Regional Medical Center is the love of life. And yeah. I know October is Breast Cancer Awareness Month. There will be the, uh, the wonderful, um, the, the love of life 5K will be happening. Uh, but uh, one of the wonderful aspects of the love of life is uh, the the unveiling of the ring, and that's been done, and folks can now uh, get in line to maybe win that ring. Yeah, so the ring is absolutely beautiful, so take uh, opportunities to see that uh, ring, and it's still $10 a chance, and uh, mm-hmm. you can see the ring at Gary Wyant's store or uh, different times that we'll have it out uh, for a display. And uh, so... Um, yeah. And with that love of life, we always have uh, uh, a bingo, uh, breast cancer awareness bingo, and that's going to be held, held at the Cherry Hill Volunteer Fire Department, and that's going to be October 15th. And then, of course, right down here in uh, beautiful downtown Indiana, the 5K race, and that's uh, Saturday, October 21st. Mm-hmm. So uh, and Brenda's always a big part of that uh, race, uh, helping uh, announce and give out awards and just uh, – being right out here and so um you know it's it's a good uh time to celebrate uh breast cancer survivors and just uh participate in an event that um it's for a good cause a hundred percent of the proceeds go to the uh irmc's women's imaging center yeah and uh there's no middleman there caitlin uh you being an indiana girl yeah (laughs) uh, have you been around the love of life 5k i have isn't that crazy (laughs) everyone is head to toe pink and it's just awesome watching it, everyone yeah. come out for that. I mean, and what a spirit. I, I, mm-hmm. I think especially one of the wonderful aspects of that is um, when the breast cancer survivors uh, either run or are there and to see the amount of support that they continue to have and the support that they give mm-hmm. to others uh, who are afflicted with breast cancer and, and the warnings that they give you too, mm-hmm. uh, to have every lump checked out, to yeah. be sure that you're going through the process with the mammograms and everything. It's very important, isn't it? It is, mm-hmm. absolutely. I think um, IRMC and the surrounding community is very good at that, at just lifting up others and supporting everyone. And um, we do that through a lot of events, but also just people in our community are very supportive. So sure. it's awesome to see. Sure. Now, Laura, are registrations open yet for the yeah, Love of Life 5K? Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah, you can check it out on our website, and there's a link right off our website. Uh, www.indianarmc.org. Right. And of course, uh, we want to give credit to Gary Wyant for making that beautiful mm-hmm. ring yeah. and uh, designing it and, and the theme of it all. And uh, just, uh, you know, that will be when is the giveaway of that, or not the giveaway, but the drawing for that? Yeah. It's, it's in the, November, isn't it? It's at the uh, Wonderful Life Parade. Okay. Uh, there so, you go. The kickoff yeah, kick of the whole yeah, season. Yeah, the kickoff for the whole season. So, yeah, how about that? Oh, it's, it's a Wonderful Life. Good. 
tie in their celebration of life and uh and then of course that parade downtown which is fantastic get your tickets now yeah get your tickets now it's, uh, wonderful all right anything else we need to pass along this morning we got it covered I think we got it covered. Yeah, so we're always going to be the first aid provider at the fair, too. But, uh, you know, so if you're at the Indiana County Fair, need anything, our mobile unit will be there, as always, to take care of uh, uh, the fair people. If you have too many uh, funnel cakes or, uh, um, (laughs) uh, I guess last year, the big thing, unfortunately, was bee stings. So uh, we saw a lot of uh, people that got bee stings at the fair. So check Mm. us out at the mobile unit and certainly on Friday, uh, Right in the uh, pavilion, right next to the mobile unit. That's yeah. where the uh, robot will be. I, and I know the, the mobile unit also provides blood pressure screenings sometimes and, and, and other types of diagnostic things uh, that can help people to understand a little bit more about their health, too. Always good yeah. literature and yeah. learn more about That's IMC right. there. That's right. Wonderful. Ladies, thank you so much for coming in. Yeah, thanks for having When us. do you leave for London? Not until September, so I'm still here for a little while. Oh, yeah? <laughs> so you won't be here for the love of life. You'll be, I won't be here. You'll but... be in... London. I'll be looking forward to seeing pictures of You're it. such a big <laughs> shot, I'm telling you. <laughs> Ladies, thank you. It is Indiana in the Morning, presented by First Commonwealth Bank, and it's AM 1160 WCCS and 101.1 FM.